jest taka grupa śpiewaczy w Warszawie. I część z nich zajmuje się towarzyszeniem ludziom w odchodzeniu. Jedna z nich zajmuje się tym zawodowo. Nazywa się Anea. It is All Saints Day and it's only appropriate to go into the subject of the borders between two realities, the one that we inhabit here and now and the one that possibly exists on the other side. It so happened that I watched very recently a pretty interesting film, Light by Light, that addresses this issue and I found there several very intriguing issues concerning structuring the discourse that is unfolding on the screen. And did you have other experiences with the paranormal before joining the team? Uh, I had questions. Like... Just questions. The movie is about relationship between those two words and it actually carries the discourse uh, through a very careful subtle intimate scenes <clears throat> mostly between two uh, characters and uh, between the supporting uh, couple teenagers and what i found very interesting is that uh, it actually employs a horror genre but it does it in a very subtle, uh, um, uh, subdued way. And the question that uh, I would pose is to what extent, not to get into a spoiler mode, to what extent um, once you start playing with a genre, you are obliged to fulfill its requirements or not. Is anyone here? Somebody's jogging. We are recording. So um, that's number one. Uh, I encourage you to watch this film. Uh, it got great reviews from The Guardian, New York Times, LA Times. So it's a solid, solid thing to <clears throat> devote your uh, hour and a half of your time. And then the second thing that intrigued me was that um, this discourse between is there <clears throat> a connection <clears throat> or isn't, and is there anything outside or isn't, uh, is carried mostly through acting. There is this amazing uh, actress there, Marian Arland, I believe, and she does absolutely um, spellbounding job because in a lot of her close-ups, we can actually see this discourse being run through uh, do I, don't I, is it, isn't it, should I, shouldn't I? There was this one time, just one, I thought I had an experience with a ghost. My father. And then the question that I would ask the director and the writer in one person is to what extent um, her <clears throat> thought process that we see <clears throat> on the screen was written in and to the what extent she was given uh, areas for her own exploration. That would be very interesting. After hearing the Q&A with the actors and the director, I realized that actually her performance, a wonderful performance, has been performing the script. And here is the part where the director explains, actually she explains how she was directed. His sense of pacing and um, energy. <laughs> like I kept being like, I feel like I'm not doing anything and I'm talking as slow as I possibly can. And he'd be like, slow it down even more, you know? <laughs> and I was like, really? You know, and, and it was so, it was deeply vulnerable as an actor and I'm, I trusted him just a thousand percent. So it was a really disorienting kind of scary experience as an actor, but I just kept being like, I just have to 
follow his lead and trust that the thing as the whole kind of becomes what I know he can make it into. But it was, um, it was very disorienting. But it was... Sad. Yeah. I've never felt that way again, ever. And the next day I wasn't sure I'd seen any of that or felt that at all. <clears throat> and because it's uh, All Saints Day, as I said, it touches upon stuff that we all um, think about today. And it also touches upon uh, my recent situation. Dobrze, ja odpalę tą piosenkę. Pan mi świetny pomysł. No jak ona mówi, że świetny pomysł, to może to, to działa, że tak powiem, po dwóch stronach tej granicy czasowej, nie? Tak sobie pomyślałem. Więc... Czarna matko, tu mnie Otul moje serce Ukoję, ukoję Weź mnie w swoje ręce Czarna 